for day listen i'm about to get a little bit of gardening done right before the sun goes down here i did a bit of shopping yesterday and i bought some peonies peonies are one of my favorite early summer flowers the blooms are just magnificent they're beautiful they're large they're blousy and some of them can be single petal but i love those double petal ones that's really just expressive and a lot of great colorations but peonies are kind of tricky to move if you want to move your peony there's a certain way you need to do that i bought a couple yesterday this is uh, called Rosenfield. It's a really nice one. You can see it's already started to send up some shoots. Now these have not hardened off yet. As they get harder, uh, when they harden off, the colors shift a little bit to more of a green. So these are very fragile. There's a couple of key things you want to think about when you're going to replant plant these. Here's another one that I picked up. And this is Shirley Temple. This is a really great one. It's going to have a nice white bloom on this one. I have one here already in this flower bed. I want to plant these right next to them. Just give me a nice little grouping of peonies. Again, I love peonies. One of my favorite flowers. But one of the things you have to consider when you're going to replant peonies is you want to make sure that where that root line is, where that level is, you want that to be right below your mulch. If you plant this too deep, they tend not to bloom. Now these actually have buds on them, so I'm not going to get a bloom here. That's another thing to keep in mind when you're picking up peonies. You can buy them from the store like I did here. This came from the nursery. I already sprouted out. You also can buy them during the off season and at different times of the year. Bare root, where you just get that root coming in. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that real quick. When I buy bare root, uh, you can pick up some really wonderful colors, some great varieties. A couple of things you deal with, though, is that those roots tend to be immature in a lot of cases. And you can expect to spend two to three years before you'll see potentially that first bloom from bare root. I didn't go bare root this time and I can see I already have a little bud here so I'll know that this year I'm going to get a bloom on this peony. Every year though I'll get more and it continue to get bigger and bigger and larger and larger. And you could divide it, we'll do that in a different video. But this one that I have already planted behind me, I'll give you a quick, a quick view of that one. I uh, put it in a couple years ago, already setting up more shoots, already looking good, already doubled in size from when I first purchased it. I did not purchase it bare root. But if you purchase bare root, just be patient with that one because it's going to take you two to three years potentially to see that first bloom. I wanted to skip past that. These are some nice size roots, but let's get these in the ground real quick uh, and then move on. I have a few other things I need to get planted before the sun goes down. So as I mentioned, I already have a nice peony growing in here. This is a stem from last year. And what I want to do is pull back some of this mulch. And I want to make a hole right here. This is where that peony is. And the roots are not going to extend far to the side of where that is. And I want to get this other one. There's a bit of concrete in this bed. So I'm going to shift over. Come over here to the side just a little bit. And I'll go straight down. And we're going to plant this Carl Rosenfield right here next to it. Peonies bloom in early summer. They're big, beautiful blooms. Uh, they're used often. I see them used in wedding bouquets. A lot of people use them in wedding bouquets. They're very popular in that space. I like to pick them for my wife. I just think they're a great flower to have to add to any flower bed. You don't get year round blooms with these. They bloom once and then that's it. But the blooms are so beautiful and they're just so majestic. I really feel as though once a year is enough. They're herbaceous perennials. They'll come back year after year. And I'm a massive fan of perennials. If you want to say anything about me, you can say that I'm a perennial gardener. I love perennial beds. So this hole appears to be large enough. Let's see what this looks like in the pot. Okay, so that's rooted out pretty well. You can see this bottom here doesn't necessarily have any roots in that. I can kind of take that off. This will give me the ability to, yeah. So that's rooted up really well. I don't want to take off too much of that dirt in here. I want that to sit kind of right at the same level of the soil that it came out of there. You can see it came out of that pot and that's where the soil level is. Planting it like this and just kind of fill back the dirt around it. Planting it at this level will ensure that it's at the right level to give me a nice bloom this year and for years to come. And just that quick, it looks like that peony has been there for years. And those two now are side by side. I think I'll come forward and do the next one. I'm just gonna come forward, have a nice little line of peonies here. Move this mulch back. I, I mulch really heavily because I don't want to have to fight with grass and different things of that throughout the year. So I mulch really heavily. 
It looks like there's a bulb that's kind of come up. I want to get that back on the ground. But here we go. Just go straight down. They got a nice spot here. And I want to get this Shirley Temple peony in the ground. It's a nice white color. So those white flowers will be sitting directly in front of the red. White and red is a great color combination uh, when you're dealing with your peonies. It looks really good together. Let's get this Shirley Temple out of the pot. It's rooted down a little bit, but dirt's falling off and that's fine. Make sure that the depth of this hole is equal to where I want it to be to make sure that this root sits really flush with the ground, just right below my mulch line. Here we go. And that's a little high. I'm gonna take a little bit of dirt off the bottom here. Dig that hole back out. Here we are, and that's where I want it to be. Just right there flush with the soil line and then get some dirt backfield back in around that. And this is a great way to buy peonies early in the spring here. And you know, you get these, again, not hardened off, but you can see what you're gonna get and you can know your right heights to plant them because you can see where they're kind of blooming and sprouting from and you get it at the right height. So just right there below the mulch line. And there you go, just that quick, we have two new peonies planted, Shirley Temple called Rosenfield. And this one, I can't remember which one it was, but that's gonna to continue to grow out and look really good here. Um, if you've never owned peonies before and you don't have any, and you wanna pick up some, now's a great time. If you're in the US, you can find them bare root and all of your big box stores, they have them, multiple varieties, multiple colors. Here in the UK, you can find them potted up early spring right now. There's a great time to add peonies to any flower bed, to add them to your collection, they're wonderful. I actually have some planted in large pots. You can put them up in a pot, that works really well. You can plant them in the ground as I planted these in the ground in the flower bed. They will look wonderful in any perennial bed, uh, any grouping. After the flowers bloom in early spring, let the plant continue to grow. It's a nice little shrub. It looks like a little shrub bush. It's just nice flowers, about a uh, half a meter height, about two feet tall, uh, and it get a little wider every year. But just let that continue to grow, uh, water it, fertilize it, and that'll continue to don't just whatever you do, don't mow it down. You want to make sure it's in the bed and let it grow, uh, and that's going to get that food back to that root. So next year you get more blooms it'll be even larger going forward so hey if you like this content be sure to like and subscribe if you love peonies write the word peony down in the comment and let me know if you have a favorite variety my favorite variety would probably be um it's a pink one i think it's sarah bernhardt that's one i like a lot it's a pink one but hey if you let me know which one you like i might go try to buy that one as well until next time take care